Hello and welcome ladies and turds to another lovely live stream. I don't know where my break sign is, we're using Animal Crossing again, but how do you do? Today we shall be watching the uh, PlayStation experience here that happened in December 2017. It's actually one month later, I didn't have time to, you know, do that when it came out. I was, you know, doing stuff in the background and whatnot, so I actually couldn't stream that alongside the Game Awards. And the Game Awards I think we watched like last week. And then, um, this PlayStation experience we're gonna watch right now. So let's do this. If you've seen this though, like I said, don't spoil it in the chat because that kind of ruins the entire like point. And the, you know, like why would you do that? <laughs> like we're here to have a lovely time. But if you haven't, then let's watch it together. But how do you do Captain Falcon? Why do I have a Wii game on my face? That's my, my sink, my break sign. <laughs> I don't know where my normal break sign is, so I use this. If you watch on the YouTube stream, you'll see it. But alright, let's do this. I remember, I think, last year, 2016, it also came out in December. And I believe that's when they showed the, you know, or I think 2015, was it 2015? I think E3 2015? They showed the Insane Trilogy, you know, like trailer, basically announcing, or not trailer, but announcement that the Crash Bandicoot, you know, remaster is coming out. And then I think the PlayStation Experience 2016, they actually showed the first trailer, which was awesome. Can you hear the music though? I don't think we're gonna get any like Crash, you know, news or anything. I'm hoping for some spiral stuff, but. You know, I, that's probably too soon. I think Activision is working on a Spyro or something, you know, Remaster Trilogy. Hi! But I don't know if we'll be getting that. Especially after they saw, you know, at the Crash Bandicoot, um, you know, how, how well, you know, that did, the Insane Trilogy. That's the one thing I'd want out of this. But yeah, I've been avoiding all news and whatever announcements. So I don't actually know what they're going to show, and so like I said, don't, you know, um, don't ruin it in the chat. In 2016? Yeah, it was 2016. The Crash Bandicoot Shadow, but I think that was E3. That was E3 though. And I remember, I have it, I was there, I was watching it and I had a heart attack. <laughs> Cause it was awesome. I forgot the guy's name, Sean or something? Can you hear the music though? Can you, someone tell me if you can hear the um, thing? I remember that though, like, I remember Phil and I, my brother and I, we were sitting there, you know, just watching, I think it was E3, I don't know if it was E3 or PlayStation Experience, I think it was E3, and we were just watching, and, he, and the music started, and I had a little heart attack here, and then he walked up on the stage with the shadow, and I think he had the shirt too, I think. Like the Crash Bandicoot, you know, shirt. And I had a heart attack. If you want to see that, I have the video on that. It was good stuff, it was good stuff. But hi there, In Inis? How do I say your name? Inis? And Captain Falcon, welcome to the stream, how do you do? I think both of you are new people here. Howdy howdy. Like I said, I didn't have time to watch this um, last month. And so we're just gonna watch it right now. So don't, you know, if you've seen this, like I said, don't, you know, spoil anything. But yeah, I, I'm a huge fan of Crash Bandicoot. And so what I, I've been asking, you know, Sony, or Naughty Dog, pretty much, to remake or bring Crash back for like a few years now, maybe like six or, you know, who knows how many E3s now, you know? Just over here in the audience, I'm just like, come on, Crash Bandicoot! I never thought it would actually happen, and then they completely cut me off guard, and I had, you know, I was in little tears, you know? This montage is actually kind of cool. <laughs> I was in little tears when they actually did, you know, um, announce the crash is coming back. And then I was there, um, I think when the game came out, it was last year in July, I believe, July like 29. Uh, I got it on the first day. I even brought my Aku Aku mask, which I don't have here. It's somewhere in a box right now. My homemade like Aku Aku mask is like this big. I brought it to the GameStop, you know. 
I brought it to GameStop and you know I had my Crash Bandicoot shirt Ladies and, gentlemen, and it was awesome and I got the game and I was like oh it's finally here and then um, I plan to review Crash 2 and 3 for my you, oh that guy that guy right there Sean I think for my uh, channel and then after that I'll 100% the Insane Trilogy NS? I'm so glad you could join us here, PlayStation Experience. That is Thank how you, you say so your name? NS? Sean, okay. Is this a furniture convention? <laughs> well, welcome to the stream run. You can tell us about yourself, NS. Kind of what games do you like watching? Or, I mean, what games do you like playing right. if you have any consoles? All that good stuff. Great, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, is, also, is everything working smoothly? Like all this? Like I said, I'm testing this out. I hope everything is working. Give yourself a round of applause for joining us here in Anaheim. Yeah, I would, I would love a this Spyro the, uh, uh, remaster. It's the fourth one. And I can't think of a better way to close out this highly memorable year yep. than with my friends. So right. thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for coming, everybody. Really. Yeah, it's incredible. Yes. Wait, yes. So, oh, everything is working? It's okay. been a heck of a year. Wow, has not been just... Uh, <laughs> He looks really weird season. without a, um, a lot of great game releases. You know, without a beard. Um, uh, any Uncharted <laughs> fans out so there? Weird. So, Lost Legacy was awesome. Uh, we're I've only played the first Uncharted. I hear the second one is the best one. If anything, I might, you know, Phil, my brother, he recently got Horizon Zero Dawn, so I've been waiting to play that. Yeah, because that's what they do. Sneak it out there. I mean, what's great too is I'm really excited to play that though. Incredible start. Resident Evil Seven, one of my Crash Two was your first game. Nice. If you haven't played that in PlayStation VR, you haven't played it. That's the reason why I'm holding it off. Resident Evil Seven is because I want to play it in VR. Yeah. Crash 3? Year, I think my first Crash game, game was Crash years, 2. Uh, game lineups I've seen in years. I actually, if you want, anyway, Enos uh, or Enos. <laughs> That's I... Can we get some love for my golf game, please? <laughs> golf. Crash 2. I, mean, uh, yeah. I made a review for Crash Bandicoot 1. Okay. Listing all the incredible talking about, you know, kind year. of like my memory right. with We've Crash. I grew up with Crash 2 and 3. You know, those are my games from my childhood over here. And then also Spyro 2. Then we had Paris Games Week. I mean, you know, went really well. We saw the reveal of uh, Sucker Punch's new opus, um, Ghost. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima? Yeah, yeah that's going to be great. You saw some of that in the trailer. I like Crash Bandicoot a lot. Um, I'm yeah, a huge a fan of Crash, and I 100 percented the first three games on the stream, I think, uh, last year, as we were waiting for, for I guess, leading up to the, you know, uh, Insane Trilogy. And we're going to talk a little bit about... So if you'd like to see that, we have that on the stream, too. We're also going to bring you closer to some of the world's not my website. developers right here. I think it's something that makes PlayStation Experience unique and special. You folks can be right here with us. But back in the toddler right days, here. I didn't have a memory card, fun and, fact. And all this so I had to beat, right you know, Crash 2 and, and 3 to without a memory card. <laughs> it brought me a little tear because, you know, end, it's not that hard, I guess, but still. We have some old friends dropping by, Sean. Yeah, we're going to have um, our group chairman, Andy House, is in the house. That's right. Uh, you haven't played Crash with, uh, with our 1 and 2 friend, uh, Mark until That's the right. insane yes, trilogy? You're missing out. Mark Cerny's Crash one by. is like different right. than you two guys, and three because you, you can't use like the special powers. Okay. okay. Corey Barlog from Santa Monica Studio. He's gonna come in and give us a development update here tonight. Right. I have to play God of War. The, the taxi's outside with the meter. I hear it's pretty, you know, right. swell, <laughs> and all the stuff <laughs> I've seen of it, right it's you know, studio, looks insane. That, that I haven't played it. Though. I think my brothers and I, we yeah, have all the games. Did yeah. you guys check out the Game Awards last night? You see that new trailer? Yeah, I thought that was awesome. Incredible. Yeah, incredible. Great, great package. Yeah, you get three Crash games in one. It's good stuff. Yeah. Only thing I wish I was, you know, very, very excited yeah. about. I have to, like, play it a little bit more. So, we're going to have but, some updates on 2018 uh, games. We're going to take a peek or two at the PlayStation called? Experience show floor, which I know a lot of you are going to yeah. be excited to check out over the weekend. The, like, the thing, I wish you didn't have to watch the intro video every time you okay. open the yeah. game. We have some you know, like that, that, like, loading, you yeah, know, like the uh, start here. screen and or whatever, actually, where Crash jumps into that machine. I'm super excited for are the panels we have going on. Yeah, it's a great lineup. Really killer panel lineup. But aside from that, I like the game a lot. 
I mean, like I said, I want to, you know, review Crash 2 and 3. Ooh, Last of Us 2. I want to um, do reviews for Crash 2 and 3 as well. And then I want to 100% the Insane Trilogy, which includes the time trials. And that's going to be insane. William Pugh are going to be stopping by. I'm a huge Rick and Morty fan. I can't wait to see what these guys are up to Morty in a while. So it's just a lot of great stuff. Yes. But yeah, I had a heart attack when they announced, you yes, know, the, show floor, the Insane Trilogy. Today, like I said, I made a few videos on it, yeah. if you like to see. I like, I jumped almost, you know, off of my seat. I was in tears. I was like shaking over here. I mean, that's an experience right there. What the turn? <laughs> Are those actual people? Do you see that? You'll we, find out. I think there's actual show people uh, hanging one, one back there. Yeah. What the <laughs> butt? <laughs> Which one that is? Another one I'm really excited about. It's incredible. Shadow of the Colossus. Wait, do you see Okay, this? never mind. I'm like, what's the turd? Now, Shadow, do, fun fact, Shadow of the Colossus is one of my favorite PlayStation 2 eyes, games. Uh, from the game, you will be able to climb up the back of it and put that sword right into the center of his head. It's the thing you've wanted to do when playing he, the game. He, he kind of looks down, like uh, Freddie Mercury a little bit it's without the I mean, beard. It's just a taste. There's so much more. It's the biggest show we've done yet. So I hope you all check it out tomorrow. Let us but yeah, I'm think. excited for the remaster of, of that too, or the here. remake. Not everyone gets a chance it's going to be awesome. This. I haven't played it in like, I'd say seven years or something on the PlayStation 2. Oh, to sit in the wheelchair like that. Yeah. But, you will be taken into this experience via wheelchair, and you will have an asylum uh, experience. And then uh, I think my brother the has we, Ico we and oh, Shadow of Colossus on the PlayStation 3, it's like incredible. a remaster. So it's not for the faint of heart. Not at all. So, uh, round 80 playable PlayStation VR experience. Hi, Mr. Farmer. And so lots to see and do on the PlayStation VR front. But actually, Sean, speaking of PlayStation VR, right. I believe we do have a new PlayStation VR game to reveal here tonight. Yes, we do. And I think it's really I've important. tried the PlayStation the VR as well get out in there Best and Buy. A couple of days and experience it. It was really fun. You can read about it on the web. You can hear. But well, we don't have it. I don't think you know. But until you put the headset on, it still costs have quite a lot. Experience like that, you'll never really know what it's like. So please. But I would love, like I said, I've been holding out on Resident Evil Seven. We're announcing tonight. Because I would love to play in VR on the stream. Zero hour. I think it's the full is the full title. I think that'd be uh, awesome, especially like this. If yeah, I can get like the green screen stuff to work like this, this in VR, contact, you can see you know having a heart attack over here. This is a team based four v four four v four tactical. I think that's you know so attack the, and defense on the two teams, and there's a huge amount of emphasis being placed on sort of the, that's kind of what, like the reason that I want to get into you know like the VR and stuff. Would be just to have a heart attack. See some of that here in the footage, but. Just a very early sneak peek for so all Mr. Farmore. What have you been doing recently? Uh, you'll be able to use either a DualShock or your PlayStation VR aim controller if you've ever uh, picked up I a fixed the uh, video, like the cooking so machine with uh, Mr. Farmore. So it's all in sync and all good. To be in that four, yeah. four on four. Um, you know, trapped in the room, you know, throwing flashbangs and trying to clear rooms. Because I know, like, when I uploaded it last week for the Patreon, for while, and it was out of sync and I didn't realize that. It had really come out raving. So, and it's on the floor. That's right. It's on the floor here. You'll be able to play it this weekend. Four on four. Firewall. Is it? And it will be exclusive to PlayStation VR. So, uh, excited to see that. Put that over there. So, Sean, uh, what else do we have on the VR front? Anything else? Eh. Uh, we have a gift. And um, oh, oh yeah. A year um, ago, what's it called? One of my most favorite games, uh, The Last Guardian. Any Last Guardian fans? I still haven't you know, finished that. It was such a, <laughs> a seminal moment for my career because I think I've been working on that game my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so I haven't finished that. I think Phil still has it. And in the meantime, I'd have to like uh, get back into Last Guardian. Come together, and they've made a VR experience based in the world of uh, Last Guardian. Where you'll be able to go in there and experience that with with Trico, um, calling calling the beast and, and moving across turd. a level. It's probably I don't know 15 20 minutes of gameplay, uh, but we'll be putting that up on the PlayStation Store December 12th here in the US and Europe. Uh, and it, and that's our Christmas present, to everybody. So please go get it. That's kind of cool. Week it's free. Yeah. It is actually out of the three games experience. though that I've played, like yes, I said, between Ico, so Shadow of Colossus, VR, and The Last Guardian. The Last Guardian. The the Shadow of Colossus all the way. The, 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 don't even Sean, come close. The other two games don't even come close to that. VR. Well, I think you can only rub them one way. Uh, <laughs> but yes, flush, flush and downing would be one way to call it. Yeah, there he is. There. Trico's a weirdo though. <laughs> 
The bird thing? Yeah. The weirdo. Not <laughs> or not bird, whatever. Ico? Ico's? So please, pick, make some time during the next couple of days to get in and try this. And then yeah. December 12th, go home, download it, and oh, what? enjoy for Christmas. Nice stocking stuffer there. So that's the Jesus, last Guardian VR demo. <laughs> Oh, no, Shadow of Colossus right. all the way. But wait, there's more. There is more. There is more. Um, you know, Ico, I never liked um, dragging that lady uh, along. It was. Classic catalog games she have. was useless. That, uh, you know, <laughs> Whatever her name game, is. Always a great game. And sometimes you have to refresh and bring them back on new platforms. Team Ico Heapster. Buy a PS1. And, and the whole day only made three it, games, so. so. What we have here is. <laughs> We've taken a game we delivered uh, uh, last year. We brought Wipeout. It's back. romantic. And now no, it's not. She doesn't even talk. Wipeout VR. <laughs> yeah, let's check out the trailer. It's not romantic. She's being kidnapped. You're like kidnapping her. She's like, ah, help me. I just want to sleep. What is this supposed to be? Like F Zero. I know people like on the, you know, the Nintendo Switch and, you know, like pretty much the last like 50 billion years, they wanted Nintendo to make a new F-Zero game. <laughs> they love each other even with their language barrier. Oh, Wipeout. This, I think this started on the PlayStation 1. I completely forgot they're re like making yeah, a new one. An That's cool. That you'll be able to download to your copy of Wipeout. Deep and down inside, I know there's a romantic soul in you. Uh, to the behind the poop of our souls. Uh, I didn't see a romance in Ico. I yes, didn't see that as that way when I played the game. It didn't look like yeah, that. Free VR update is coming there was more romance on. between, yeah. I don't know, yeah. so on, on you know, the horse from Shadow Colossus uh, and the actual, you know, and main character of Shadow of Colossus. Really I don't know his name, the guy with the sword. There was more romance between him and the horse than the Ico, you know. Shadow the Colossus, I swear. And that's all gonna be playable on the show. All floor. playable on the show floor, and, and Shadow of Colossus is, is being played on PlayStation 4. Unrespectful <laughs> behavior. Have you finished? I have. Um, I have a thing I, on my website. If you want to see the ending, you can. Talk about I have finished it. Here. Got a lot of chairs here. So <laughs> I wanted to revisit. What I think is 2017's biggest. The game. ending was cool. I like the ending. Welcome. Herman Holst from Gorilla Games. Oh, are they talking about the DLC? Did the DLC come out yet or no? <sighs> Phil's been playing this recently. He Ladies said it's good stuff. And I Holst. would like to play it as well. Yeah, something in my eyeball. Wearing a toll neck tonight. Hey, Sean. Hey, man. I thought the screen in the background, I thought he was like that, you know, like the dude's like 10 feet taller, so they're like, what the terror? <laughs> we have a lot of family. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Big yeah. family. Ah, yeah. You well, can defend Echo, that's okay. <laughs> Doesn't mean it's, you know. I'm never gonna play it again, though. For so, Shadow Colossus, though, is where it's at. It was just. You know, it was magical. Yeah. I'm here on vacation for 40 hours. I still had its moments though, but like well, I said, I, mean, I never I liked dragging that lady around. She always got kidnapped. I'm like, what the turd, lady? I just say a you. humongous hit. I mean, people have fallen in love with this. It's a tremendously great looking game on PlayStation 4 Pro or on standard PlayStation 4. Uh, nominations out If they remake too, it, that'd be cool, but I don't know if that would ever so, happen. I mean, that's, a, that's one hell of a year. But Shadow of Colossus, like I said, it completely caught me off guard when I played it. And it was it was just magical. It was a magical moment. Actually, of you guys, and we we hear about it, and we see people being so. Fun fact: in the video I made, the um, PlayStation wish list, like games I'd wish you know got a remake or came back or something. One of them I was talking about was Shadow of Colossus, but I cut that out of the video. And you know what? We actually just started. Like, I made it like a little, like a quick, you know, oh, yeah. uh, so like there was a no preparation, there was no time kind of like a little. mention. <laughs> it's a good chunk of content that we made in what eight, nine months. But yeah, like I said, it's been a busy year. Yeah. Impressive. So, uh, <laughs> you know, given the fact the game is a huge hit, what what sort of surprised you most uh, in terms of the action? 
No, you know, I might be thinking of Last Guardian. Or all three games, I think. It's kind of like Assassin's Creed, I guess. Every time you jump off a cliff, he randomly, like, grabs onto, you know, like, the ledge or something. The character saved me a few times. I remember that. And I remember one part in Ico. It was bootleg. I think it was also towards the uh, ending. And he just sent his note there was like these the chains and these huge like... The in their home. It looked like a cage, I think, uh, like chain so and cage. Like and there was like, Characters you know, ten of them. And you were supposed to jump, you know, on, kind of you know, the, the kind of like platforming so or whatever. They, uh, they and I swear, <laughs> that part, you know, like the chains with jiggle and junk, so much that part or caused me to fall off like a billion times. That people spent in the game. Uh, it was, so it was have spent poopy, weeks and weeks just, uh, but like I said, it had its it moments. Snaps, it, and if you want to know what I thought of the game, then just look at my website. Uh, so it, it's actually because I have at least the, the ending, of you know, feedback that's been the most surprising. like what recorded highlight. That was before I, you know, uploaded like the streams you onto YouTube. Just created a whole new so you can at least see the ending and what I thought, you know, after I played it. I know I liked it, but. It didn't, you know, have that same, you know, magic as Shadow Colossus. Now, okay, from my selfish perspective, one of the reasons I'm so pleased to see Horizon be such a huge hit is because, well... Horizon Zero Dawn game. is kind of I like single player game. the Zelda uh, of, you know, PlayStation, pretty much, is the way I see it. I haven't played it yet, I mean, but everything I I've seen about it sort of, reminds me of that. Like people still want them. What do you think? <laughs> I, I like I single I player games. I think they're dead, man. They're, no, you know, the strange thing is it's by far our best selling game, and it's the first solely single player game that we've made in a long time. I don't really get the debate that much. I like single player games. When you're uh, somebody like myself, so I can't really play multiplayer games magic. either. <laughs> uh, <laughs> My computer is a poop, so I can't handle it, and so then, you know. No other way really that having that, that single all the other stuff kind of costs money be a, a market for that it's hugely important especially in a world as unique and exotic and interesting as Horizon Zero Dawn with the characters interesting and, and unique as Aloy so you don't want to be interrupted hey guys. in a magic scale and stay there <laughs> wait what and that's why sometimes a single player game can be the best option absolutely couldn't agree but what have you been doing Mr. Forevermore stay with us here tonight and we're going to I'm just testing like more of the like so little green screen stuff Stuff here. Uh, Horizon is not the only narrative based single player game PlayStation's focused on right now. Oh. Anyone interested in a small, handcrafted artisan franchise by the name of God of War? <laughs> I, st I have to get into that series okay. too. Okay, okay. Well, uh, that's how they talk. That's how fine. About we welcome Corey <laughs> Barlow. He's a creative director at Santa Monica Studio. I have to get into the God of War series as well. Because like I said, we have, I think, on the PlayStation 2, we have all of them. As well as the the PlayStation 3, like, I think it was like Remaster. Ladies and, and then, gentlemen, like, the Origin game, game or whatever. So we have them, and I know Phil and Pap have played them, but I've only seen, you know, people play them. Hello, I think I was playing, like, Crash Bandicoot and, you know, Zelda and stuff instead. Because they kind of hogged the PlayStation 2 back in the toddler oh, days. Boy, oh, boy. Corey Barlow, great to see you again. Good to see you. Yeah. Good here. All right. Well, you know what? No, the new one looks pretty spoiled. On we get a little bit of a status check on God of War. How's that one coming along? <laughs> it looks different, though. Like, it looks different from, uh, you know, what I've seen of the other ones. No. Like, the other ones look no. like you just go crazy and just, you know, <laughs> rip people in half and just, you know, this giant, like, god and just, uh, and just uh, we are in a, kill him. A, or is this one it looks like you know right now, doing a lot of play testing he's very excited <laughs> <laughs> i'm very excited uh you know what'd be cool is, you know it's a, it's a big game if it was well i don't know if god of war has this but it'd be cool if they did a similar thing I, I to what they did of god of war <laughs> except with like egyptian mythology so not like you know greek like you know gods and like creatures and monsters and whatever but like egyptian That'd be awesome. Freebird? Is that what? <laughs> Freebird. That'd be you feeling cool. confident, Corey? Oh, absolutely. Uh, it, we, I'm feeling very good about things. Uh, I would love to be able to tell people when we're going to release it, but my, my dog ate the release date, so I don't have that right now. <laughs> uh, but I got to tell you a little bit more about it. Uh, got so weird Right here. now, we are in the playtesting phases. In fact, this week we just finished up a uh, playtest, and... Over the last like four or five playtests, we've been clocking in. I think the total gameplay time 
is somewhere in the arena of 25 to 35 hours. Wow. So, that's big. That's big. I mean, that's <laughs> is that Pep? What is he doing? Yeah, Do you see that guy's close. face? Yeah. 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 What the yeah. turn was that? I was assuming it was in there 15, He's like, 15, 20 hours. Yeah, that's what I was about to eat a yeah. hamburger or something. Do you see that? It actually made it a lot. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's twice as big as we expected. That's funny. So, um, Sean, you know, a question I've been wondering about. <laughs> this is Zuber, that guy's face. A, a what the butt? Unique vision here for God of War. Mm-hmm. It is quite a shift from what we've seen from the last uh, six six games, I think it is, in the series. Is it six? So That's crazy. So, what was it about Corey's pitch and his vision that sold worldwide studios on this new God of War? Right. Well, he said he's shipping 2018. <laughs> <laughs> I've also. Um, been watching Corey games done quick recently because it started, I think, like two days ago or something. Secret skills, as, as if he might have sat in some library at I some believe. university and reading all the forbidden, you know, Norse mythology books they have in the back room. Um, this is totally true. <laughs> and, so um, and I've been watching the, the game and really taking it to a new place. Like the last one I saw before I started this because I stopped it. More. More so, you know, the stream doesn't not, slack or something. So, was like brawler driven yeah. kind of Metro Prime so 3. Exactly the place where we could take some of God War Normally, the Metro like speedruns for a games done quick are awesome. But I think and this year they said they're not doing the Super Metroid one, minutes, you know, kill or save the animals. It was exactly I'm right. a bit loquacious. And I think that may be the only <laughs> Metro game they're doing you know, too. This is the guy who's already shipped his game, and this is the guy who's right. <laughs> he is way more relaxed. Compare right? and contrast. What, what are you still doing here? Like, you know, be, right? what's, what's the book count? <laughs> I'm getting texted right now. <laughs> so, so, Corey, the game is at least bigger than I expected, I can say that, based Me on what you've been telling me. It's large. <laughs> it's large. So, but in a big world like that, how do you sort of keep a narrative focus? Like, how do you stay on track with the player? But yeah. Very, very, very carefully. Uh, Mr. Forever Snore. Has really I think I've already said this, but... Figure out how we keep once I can figure out the... the Hi, Maple! What are you doing here? Like a, I haven't seen you in like 10 years. So that you're in this massive world, <laughs> and we're sort of rewarding the player for being curious. I'm poking and you, Maple. You can kind of pull the string I'm to get off the tour you. bus. Look at that, I'm poking the you. The tour bus is the narrative <laughs> in the story. Uh, and you can go look around, check out the world, but the bus is always a few steps away. Um, but once I figure out how to get the council stuff to work with this, you know, ten years. Yeah, it's always ten years. Don't poke me. I'm innocent. So you want a peanut? I've got some peanut. But if I figure out how to get the stuff to work, we'll play that game. Finally. Let's go ahead and roll that. So I'm going to say something right away. Uh, yum, yum. I was talking about playtesting. No. We were yum. still building the system for the kids. Yeah, we got like 50 million. The, game, the banter system, we call it. So yum. Atreus in the game wasn't fully really talking a lot. So and if you're lucky, video, I was dropping you can find some game, chocolate. Uh, without us having playtested. So I treat this video a little bit like it was a giant playtest with the world. So we sort of discovered. As that toddler looks that, like Phil. Play test that was happening almost the same time this was coming out. That we were like, oh man, he talks too much. What well, have you been doing, Maple? A bit. Um. So it was kind of a fantastic realization. This right here is just was meant to give you a little bit of a glimpse into um. his mode combat. Uh, previous ones we had focused a little bit on the story and the tone and the world, and this is kind of um. giving you that sense that. We haven't really lost um, that big of a play aspect of Zelda World. Uh, and all the encounters no. really like to allow the player to really open up and use uh, their own creativity. No. Uh, and use the experiences, using the environment, using other characters against each other. The uh, enjoying those peanuts? Yep. Very fun. And this is really <laughs> just an a, a area no. you find in the game when you're around exploring. So this is not even. The, the sort of main critical path. Oh, that's interesting. So it's, it's no. kind of honeycombed with secrets. It's cool, Edward. That's nice. I mean, no. I like that. Yeah, it's good. Put that in the marketing. It is absolutely no. honeycombed. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. I remember there being something here again. No. Because it was Halloween. No. Right? It was no. Anything you can you're gonna add some if you want some. No. Uh, that's the revenant. Uh, one of the but you'd have to come get them. Because I don't think I can and, reach uh, all the way over there. Characters that are practitioners of safer magic and they've been no. doing it for so long they've kind of lost their, their, their humanity. No. And their 
human form, if you will. Send some? I don't, I don't know. I don't think it can reach if I Drunk throw him. Right, right. Poke me in the like eyeball. <laughs> ah! We have tour buses. Right. Using my song arms. <laughs> it's like you knock on the, the window. Been, uh, six games. This will actually be the seventh game, I believe, in the God of War series. <laughs> Fly. No crash. I was like wondering if he had I don't want to trail, man. It's all about that. That's right. How is the window yeah, doing? Up with fan expectations. I mean, there's a, Little there's tier. a big history with this. Never stuff. had a chance. It really is. Uh, very tirelessly. Uh, we are constantly getting feedback from our playtesters. Uh, paying attention to if you fly through the window now, stuff. you'll uh, crash into the turtles. This is a labor of love for everybody. You'll be like, a lot of people they're into the turtle tank. From the beginning. We care a tremendous <laughs> amount. <laughs> they're just kind of the swimming. They're just like, wah, wah, wah. Magic turtles! Do you have any advice? There's going back to these. I know, I know. Anything but the turtles. Herman, you guys shipped. So you've been where he, where Corey is right now. Right, 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 right. You have any words of wisdom? Any advice? Uh, Lots of words of wisdom. Nah, 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 nah,
I think that one was my all favorite, you know, the movie the stream we've had. It was a hoot. Um, and so for us, it was a lot of fun. It was with Leia Pay and Kale Sloth. And, um, and then you can share it with the world. So really it is like that. And then I think... On, uh, about what we're here in the story, I almost though, dropped off. Yeah, on Sunday, like three we'll be watching Moana. I haven't seen that one yet, but cool. so it reminds me of like Lilo and Stitch. So basically our story mode is um, three interwoven stories. And, Sunflower um, seeds. Art stream. And Are they salty? This is the sort of more sci-fi thing. And we decided that instead of just sort of going with one type of gameplay, oh. one type of look, we would do the three. So There's the pumpkin sci-fi. seeds. Um, they are very salted. And we also have the I swear. setting. Um, I swear, when you eat them, it tastes like cancer. Childhood fantasy. It tastes that's like you're eating cigarettes or something, you know? Yeah, it's weird. Uh, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> Looks lovely. I mean, you know, like you're dying over here. You could build something like this. I mean, oh, they well. look so different. Yeah. Yeah. Salt and pepper. <laughs> you want to show people like, right, what can be done with the tools. And you know, this thing here, the mystery thing, is just. As oh, this. Uh, did they. The I guess they saw the idea that, you know, Microsoft um, did us, like, with the sort of Project this, Spark or something. Okay, and and they wanted to do the same. Characters. Um, here we have a map. I came by to say howdy. So this is I'm howdy sick and sleepy. But I've been um, sleeping for 10 so years. So I just want to be up. Uh, I'm going to look though, but it's nice to see you, Jacko. So yeah, out here is the main character. Oh, I um, see. Glue, aren't you always sick? Um, but, yeah, I swear. The idea of, like, taking these three different Last time you were here, I remember you said you were sick too. And, and not to belabor the point, but... Glue, you need the drugs, girl. That's right, all of it is running real time with glue. <laughs> I give you, like, all a needle. <laughs> you know, like, oh, I don't know. Carrot juice yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I think that'll help. Yeah, I've just always been. You need a drink, Maple. How far sort of does I got some water. You want some water? I mean, can you make like racing games? I've got three yeah, kinds of water. I mean, that, well, <laughs> drugs are bad. <laughs> I haven't been sick for two years. Medicine's different. They're all drugs. You get them at a drugstore. They're all drugs. I'm telling you. We, you know, we're so excited because there's absolutely the sky's the limit. Um, and I think we'll actually start to see almost like a bit of genre of Medicines are drugs, that's, that's what I'm saying, drugs. <laughs> now, it strikes me, Corey, I mean, you know, would there be any benefit to God of War maybe borrowing some of this dreams technology? And would that help you get across? What was I saying? Oh. I got three drinks you can have. This is my water, my special water. <laughs> Nobody wants my water because I slobber all over Speaking it, you know. That, actually, special bubbly water. This is my water. Then I have, if you want, turtle water. They pee in it. They give you a nice poop in there, you know. So if you want some of that, you know, there's more than enough. They can share. And then there's toilet water. My favorite. I'm not announcing the exact dates yet, but yeah, that would definitely happen. Extra flavor every day. It depends what time of day you arrive, you know. I can give you a little sprinkle of, you know, pee. Maybe some, you know, some turd if I need to, you know, take a turd. But it's like a smoothie. It goes all in one. All in one toilet. It's like a smoothie. I just think it would be the best. I'll cover the pizza for that. <laughs> All right, thanks, Shabbat. I don't know if you're um, out there. You know, we've been doing a lot of talking here tonight. I, I kind of feel like playing a game, you know? I mean, what do you guys think? Do you want to play a game? Play something. Play a game with us? Okay. And do you guys have any ideas about a fun game to play with friends? Eh, uh, Smash Bros? Yachts. Yachts? Yes. We're gonna just sit down and play Yahtzee right here on the stage. Splatoon? I've got an idea. I've got an idea. That's Overcooked. Overcooked is a brilliant game. Now, we're not going to play Overcooked up here. We're going to play doing? Up Until Dawn before in the group setting. Yeah. We're going to play Detroit Become Human. Oh, that's cool. Please welcome Guillaume from Quantic Dream. I'll be back. Turn on my computer. That's what they all say. This game looks awesome, though. Like, I think it's gone missing for a hundred years. And then they Ladies finally, you know, 
Please welcome Guillaume de Fondemir. Yum. They finally showed like some stuff about it. New trailer and whatnot. <laughs> what is that smooch? <laughs> Another people. A lot of people here. Yeah, this is gonna be exciting. Uh, we got the idea from this from the very first PlayStation experience, by the way. Where does anyone Fire know Hill, when? Um, game. I'm sure, you guys are fans absolutely. of it. And had everyone cheer and hoot and holler. And does anyone know when this is supposed to come out? We should take. But before we do that, we'll do that in just a minute. Guillaume, I wanted to ask. Did you get a switch yet? I do not. Uh, I don't have the cash, Maple. Well, as you know, we that's why I started the Patreon. Uh, 11, <laughs> Nintendo took all my uh, cash with the Wii U little oh, tier. Yeah, 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 you know this Android that is getting built. And, it's okay. Uh, um, it's okay. When it released, I probably won't get one well, soon either. Prototype. Everyone was asking us, "What happened?" God, Jacob. What? Into the world. I will have uh, one. Otherwise, I'd be playing, you know, the new Mario um, game. You know what happens when she comes out. Is that so my fault? Nintendo bamboos of the Wii U. Um, when uh, human-like androids are really coming. But yeah, this looks awesome. So they're everywhere. Um, they I've been waiting ten thousand years, years for what? Um, and <laughs> ten thousand years. Are you an old hag, Maple? Is that what you're telling me? They really add to service of humans. And so in the you got wrinkles, Maple. Do you have wrinkles now? Three of these androids. Ten thousand uh, years. Course, you're older than uh, I am. Connor, and Marcus, and uh, they're each very different models. Let me um, know. They have uh, their own backstory. I don't even know what you they can have, do with the Switch. Uh, I know people have been uh, wanting a Nintendo Direct for like a hundred years, and as the but player, I don't think, you, you know, to make I don't think Nintendo said anything about the Nintendo Direct. And so many people are, you know, having so a heart attack. Really going to be in control of the they're like, Nintendo! And Give us a new Direct. Control. I love games. We want, like you know, like we want the virtual right console. Is, is here we want that new, weekend. you know, Pokemon Atlas game. Experience. We want more games. Where are you, Nintendo? Wait, wait, right? I, I, I want it all. I want to open my presents right now. So, Guillaume, well, no, I don't have one. I think position, people please. in the chat have. Guillaume will be playing on PS4 Pro. Like, Winnie has and one. I think Featherhead has one. Player Pay has one. There. Glue, I think, has one. Yeah. And MTT have one. In the chat. I don't hear you well, so please. But I don't have one. Like I said, they bamboozled me with the Wii U so little tier. Context, we're playing this hostage scene, which is the very first scene in the game. We're this looks cool, though. Connor. Connor is a prototype. This uh, looks he's cool. Been built to investigate Mapo, what have you been playing on the Switch? All of a sudden, do something weird. What the third? Do you and see so that? We're going that into this hostage scene where the house um, android. Why have you been playing um, on the Switch, Maple? A little girl hostage, and we're going to try and save the girl. <laughs> oh, the Dragon Ball game. <laughs> uh, Loading. <laughs> Nine hundred hours. I know, like originally, it wasn't supposed to be in the thing on the Switch. Where they voted for it to be there. Well, I'm gonna watch it though, because this looks awesome. Fun fact recently, I think, I don't know if it was China or something or somewhere, or someplace. Okay, now I'm in control of the character, I can really move him around. Ma the way maybe I want. Saudi Arabia yeah. or something. Left analog stick with the right analog they, stick. Um, they interact. <laughs> this is cool. They, what's it called, made an android, like the so first Connor citizen or something ever, like an android, actual robot that looks kind of like a person and... Should I save the fish or not? Oh, too late, too late. <laughs> There's no sound. Alright, you need to go. You can't right. do that. You, why aren't you saving a real person? What the third? They um <laughs> go back. He's saving the fish. He saved the fish. <laughs> Save or leave. <laughs> Save the fish. Give him to my turtle. Remember that every action has, has a consequence. How did the fish even like 
jump out of there though. How the turd? Probably because he saved the fish. So at any moment you can hold R2 and you enter what we call the mind palace of the character, shows you your objectives. I don't give a shit. Uh oh. Is the thing, so Maple? The Gang of Force? I think that's what they were called. Are they in the game or no? Gang of Force. I remember the what he was talking about, the Until Dawn demo. That was cool. From like a few years ago. Inspiring and everything. It already shot down. Getting good first? They are there? <laughs> Do they have the dance and the theme song? If it falls, she falls. Uh oh. Quick, so I can ask him about the deviant's name, emotional shock. Has he experienced an emotional shock recently? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. The activation code. First thing you try. Kind of, but not the music. What? Listen, <laughs> saving that kid's matters. So I'll you deal with this fucking android now. Ooh. I'll take care of that. Okay. Don't know if we said the right thing here, but... <laughs> okay, um... So, as part of the investigator, I have special abilities. One of his abilities of Connor is that he can analyze uh, evidence. This game looks cool. And if you but find all the evidence, you can then I'm, put I it think together. it's gonna be like similar to Life in Strange and maybe so until dawn. Where you can do like a million, so you, you know, different things. Reconstruct oh what speaking of Life is Strange, Maple. Uh, I don't know if you remember, we played the first one, I think like someone two or three years ago. Has taken this and the new one came out, and Phil has it. Well, it's, it's like a prequel. Like it came out before the other game. Sun. We'll have to play that too on the stream again. Because I want to know, you know, what happened to Rachel and stuff. Okay. So it feels like it's been 10 years. Here, apparently. <laughs> that we may use later in the game. So I'm going to further investigate this apartment. Which is... There's another one. Large. Yeah. It's like what happened before, so I guess, that other game. Sorry. <laughs> We're gonna have to play that too at the stream. Because the other one was good stuff. The first one, it was good stuff. Child didn't hear gunshots. I got my peanuts for this, just in case, you know, gotta, you know, ow. Oh. Nothing you have to do. Was that a video? Okay, now we know the um. deviant's name is Daniel. Daniel's son. Maybe something that we can use later on. No. No. Yeah. Yum. Good. So at any moment, I can oh, isn't this the thing they showed in the trailer, I think? See, you know, those little, they were like little on top of a building or something. That's an indication of everything that's interactive in the scene. No. So let's take a look at this person here. Uh oh. No. Oh, but yeah. Like an actual robot. Became a citizen. Like, I mean, in the real world. And I remember, I was chatting about that. And it reminded me of this I'm game. Now we know now. And so I was thinking like, one okay, day, now I can reconstruct and try to understand what would happen if, you know, robots actually did kind of take over the world? It's really part of the gameplay to also play with the camera. 
try to find clues. That could be spooky. I don't know if you've seen Chobits. This is kind of creepy, yo. Yeah. It's one of my favorite animes. Okay, we found something. I've unlocked the new evidence that I'd be able to analyze. It's probably like a billion years in the future or something. <laughs> if this ever did happen. Do you have the manga? I remember we were talking about it. I think I read through that. And I've seen the show a few times. Okay, now we understand probably what happened. Deviant was going to be replaced. Didn't like it. Oops. Uh oh. Alright, so that is a soft reminder that time is of the essence. <laughs> Did someone just die? Oh. <laughs> well then. What do you think about androids and robots, Mr. Forever Snore? Here again, I can reconstruct the events, try to understand what happened. I can turn the camera. Did he just like block the... It looked like he used his hand to like, you know, fling back the bullets. Now I found a weapon. This looks cool though. Okay, so now I have a 78% probability of success. Try. Let's go. Let's go. I think this was in the trailer. If they're on top of a building. Okay, now we need to be quick. Here it is. Uh oh. Boy. Hi, first name. Approach slowly. So, what do you want? Uh, I guess get him calm. You need to trust me. Help me come. I don't want your help. Nobody can help me. Shall we help the cops? Oh, the dark star. Turn your attention. Touch him and I kill you. What should I do? Okay. Bye, Metal. Are you armed? Truth or lie? This is hardcore. Okay, so now we can use what we've unlocked. Quick. I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me. It's good. No. Uh -oh. Wait, what? She's just like all the other humans. She's like a toddler, though. <laughs> what should I do? Quick. <laughs> Oh, wait. 
this is intense. That's what I'm saying. The entire game is going to be like this. There's going to be different like scenarios you're going to be put into. And I wouldn't be surprised if you can't, you know, you can't like redo them. Like you'd have to beat the game and then, you know. Take him away. Take him away, boys. Bluff. Sacrifice yourself. Ah! I don't know if that's gonna work. Oh, that was hardcore. <laughs> Pull the butt. And so there are like, you know, when you actually do fail, she will probably like fall with him and stuff. And then I don't know, I don't think you're gonna fail. Like the game will keep going, I think. And put you in another, in another like scenario or something. Look at him just walking away, he's just like, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. This game's gonna be hardcore. That's gonna be hardcore. Nice job. Nice job. You guys should be very proud you saved the fish. <laughs> you gotta save that fish. That was incredibly tense. And I'll tell you, I played that two or three different times. I didn't even know you could do that. I, I, I would always talk him out of it, or, I mean, I, it, how many ways are there to solve uh, that situation? There, there, there are many ways, and, but more than the different endings, and that's true for this scene, but for all the other scenes, um, everything that's that cool. you do has a consequence. <laughs> that's and cool. So you have to experience it for yourself, because watching someone play and playing it yourself different. Is, is really totally different. But. Uh, we're really trying to. I don't know if they said when it's coming out though, but to, I really want to try uh, that. Make decisive. I'll probably poop myself because that's going to be insane. Going to impact each of the characters' fate and totally change the story. And it's it's really our most ambitious project. Um, it's the most branching narrative that we've ever created. I know many people are having um, a heart attack when they showed that like trailer the during most, the I think um, Games Week. Incredibly or whenever it was created because we are E3? touching about, uh, upon certain themes. Yeah, right are, here what he's talking about. You know, socially relevant, um, and we pretty much they were saying like they, it should be censored or something, to, uh, which makes no touch sense. Players on an emotional level and give them like if the you you know if you don't want to play the game, don't buy it though. But you know. Well, I don't think this game is for toddlers. Tell you that right now. <laughs> what about you guys down there? You know what I mean. Intense. How many pages of the script? I need to know. Um, so David Cage says 2,000. Um, <laughs> I, I counted them. It's slightly more. Yeah, slightly more. That's a lot. More That's more. hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> well, we, we, we are um, <clears throat> at the end of the development, obviously. And um, my yeah, video scripts are usually two pages long. <laughs> so we're going through. It's uh, it's hell. <laughs> so wait, you have been working on this for seven years, and you said seven years. Your, how long? That's you insane. Pretty much, yeah. Seven. seven seriously, I'm five years, five years, less than five years. Uh, well, I, I think about, about the game. Years, we're yeah. thinking about the game for three years, then we start giving up. Oh, uh, right, so ten. But it's it's necessary. <laughs> <laughs> that is I insane. Mean, Can you imagine yeah. working on something for like that long? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now I don't want to. Now I want to take an additional two to three years. Do, do I have more time? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the people are like, what? Great job, everybody. You saved the hostage. That was Detroit. Because you can play it this weekend. 
If you swim that fish, <laughs> save the fish. <laughs> That is coming out next year, right? Next year on PS4? It is coming out. Oh, it is next year. year. I am buying that. That's hardcore. Okay. Oh, Hopefully, it doesn't oh, get delayed or anything, oh, but I'm excited for that. Exclusive. Because uh, okay. it's only like well, a few months cool, away. Very cool. Good stuff so far. But I got to say, who wants to see some trailers? You want to see some. I want to see some trailers. All right. <laughs> Look, what Let, is this? This guy we're with rolling. his. I swear, some of these apples are strange. What is this? So what is this? Is that a raccoon? Hole simulator. It's kind of cool. You put trash in the hole and it gets bigger. <laughs> you know what would be cool? It would actually run at 60 frames per second. Dude, it does. Are oh, this supposed to be like the PSP, like the rats? Does These it portable have cheese. I don't know. I just started. So like, what's the point of the game? There's puzzles. If you collect the kiln, the hole catches on fire. What is he doing there with his feet? <laughs> this game has up dog, right? Up dog? What's up dog? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. What's up dog? What's the turd? <laughs> Seriously, what's up dog? Is that like an actual game? It reminds me of Katamari, kind of, except instead of like putting stuff into like, you know, like a ball and growing them into like giant planets, I usually just devour things. It reminds me of Katamari, except like, I guess the reverse. Donut County. <laughs> it's very strange. <laughs> I'd play that though. It's probably perfect on the, you know, Vita or something, but I don't think, you know, PlayStation's doing anything with that anymore. Tiger Trump. Whoa. Who is this? After Mankind's Disappearance. I'm guessing this is a VR game. Is it Echo the Dolphin? <laughs> Echo the Dolphin is coming back, ladies and turtles. Fully remade in 3D. I don't think this is Echo Dolphin. If you don't know, that's like a Genesis game. I haven't played it, but it's pretty popular. Where you start as, I think, Echo the Dolphin. Two <laughs> dolphins embark in the adventure of a lifetime. Can I finally be a dolphin? Guys, I'm gonna be a dolphin, guys. This could be cool, I guess, if, you know, there's like actual, I don't know, challenge and maybe, you know, things coming for your booty. I'm guessing it's like a little puzzle game, I don't know. But like I said, I'd like to play it on the VR more. Especially Resident Evil 7. What is this? What the third? What is this? Oh, is this the, um, I forgot what the series is called. Oh, there's Persona. <laughs> Persona characters. Is this a new Persona fighting game or is this something else? I know, I, I don't know if I'm thinking of the right game. Blaze Blue, no, I was thinking of something else. But I've heard of that. What the butt? Guilty Gear, yeah, I was thinking of Guilty Gear. I was thinking of Guilty Gear. I hear that the music for that is like crazy, like it's metal and, you know, insane. But no, it looks similar to that. I never played it though, but... I have to play Persona. Have you played? You've played it, right? Forever Snore? Like I said, it feels kind of a hog, but I'd like to play Persona, <laughs> the new one. I'd like to get into that. What is this? I'm gonna put my the peanuts over there. Next 
fight like you mean it. <laughs> what is, oh, hello there. Boobies. We got some boobs in here. What is this supposed to be, though? Like, what is... Don't Bandai Namco make, like, 50 different, like, fighting games or something? <laughs> that poor lady. <laughs> She's got her boobs sliced in half. Oh, God. Guide me. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> but it looks... I don't know. I like the music. It's kind of, I guess, I don't think it's not Tekken. I don't think. <laughs> oh, speaking of fighting, oh, Soul Calibur. I'm not really a fan of Soul Calibur. I have the one on the GameCube and the PlayStation 2. I think it's like Soul Calibur 2 or something. And yeah, I got it because Link is in it. It's the only reason. What is this? Oh, is this Monster Hunter? Or is this something else? Then that means the other crossing is upon us again. No, this doesn't look like Monster Hunter. Quite a sight. Best wait till we're finished. Soon, I hope. Yeah, the second fleet always. Phil's been the speed of Monster Hunter, though. It might be. It's a Capcom, but I don't. Oh, it is. Wait, is it? What the turn is that thing then? <laughs> There's like Godzilla over here. I don't think this is Monster Hunter. I I don't really know much about you know the series, but. Marvel. One that easily dwarfs any I have ever seen. Is that a new RPG by them? This from this, this I, I, I swear I think it's Monster Hunter like it you know oh my hands cut off him. Yeah, okay, I was like what the turd? It kinda of reminds me of like Xenoblade over here. I'm like what the butt am I looking at right now? Oh yeah, it is. Uh, the cats, okay. <laughs> Phil, Phil's been playing the beta for like two times or something, or three. I'd want to play it though. I, you know, I'd like to get into the thing. Like I remember, I played it once with my pal on the Wii. I couldn't beat the, you know, like the boss or whatever. And then I remember we played it on the 3DS on the stream here once as well. But I'd like to play this one too. Like I, this would be so cool. <laughs> like it looks, you know. I doubt there's any, you know. I doubt any of this is probably important because what I've heard is the story really doesn't, you know, matter in Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter World. Is the grind? Yeah. Okay. I don't like, you know, grinding. But like I said. I think you can play it from, like, with all your pals, right? What the turd? What is Mega Man doing in there? What the butt? That is weird. That is weird. How is... Oh, what the butt? He doesn't really look like he fits in there. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I wish somehow they kept it as a 2D, you know. <laughs> that is so weird. Yeah, I don't like grinding, but I hear that the entire game you can play, or like Monster Hunter usually, you can play with like pals, like multiplayer. You know, so like I said, I, that'd be awesome. I, I wish Xenoblade was like that. House and Mark you know, like the one we played on the stream, Xenoblade X? That you kind of had to grind as well, but it didn't feel like you were. Oh, it's a little tiny hand man. 
It didn't feel like you were, because you were, you know, you had so much to explore. But the thing it was missing, you couldn't, you know, play with your pals. Wow, a lot of people. <laughs> I wouldn't mind yeah. trying it, though, like I said. So, uh... I think it'd be a lot of fun. And if it looks like that, that'd be, you know, at the heart even better. Of PlayStation for over Mega Man, though, though. <laughs> How in the world? You've been planning a change for the last few months. Is there uh, a little you can tell everyone about? Oh, but hi, Leo I'm Merlin. Sure. Hello, um, welcome. You know, in essence, uh, the serial killer guy. Yeah, I the guy have, who was uh, speaking been quietly. PlayStation since the start, and I've been through some good times and some not so good times. And I think <laughs> right the PlayStation now, this is so? probably in the best shape our platform, our games, uh, than I've ever seen. Mega Man, though, speaking of Mega Man, they're bringing that, back a new one. Like, they're making great. a new game after 100 years. Mega Man 11, I believe is what it's called. And with that, and having finally achieved the creation of Sony Interactive Entertainment, bringing yeah, But you had the serial killer guy from, what was it? Do you remember, Mr. Uh, Forevermore? You were there, too. I forgot what it was called, but we were watching something. 27 years. Uh, 14 of those years working in Japan, uh, it just felt like the right Wait, time 27 years of PlayStation? Uh, to hand uh, a great thing to Or the I guess in the industry. And for I don't think uh, and PlayStation is 27 years old. Adventure. I say it's maybe 20 or something. So, yeah, the tribute at the Game Awards last night was uh, definitely very emotional. Wait, is he leaving? Is and, the dude... Uh, so tonight we have a special guest who also wants to celebrate your impact on gaming. But uh, is he leaving, or is it just you know? Are they just like thanking him for you know everything he's done? Once there was an explosion. Oh, what the turd? Is it another? What the butt? Are we getting another like um death stranding? Trailer? There was an explosion. Or is this what we've already Event seen? Which gave rise to life as we know it. And then... Because now we have like four or something, or five. Oh no, I think it's the same one. I think it's the same one, okay. We might as well watch it again though. I've only seen it once. This... Trailer, like I said, everything about this, well, from what I've seen, it reminds me of Alien. Like, if you've ever seen the Alien franchise, you know, like the movies or anything, it reminds me of that. I don't know what Porter means though, like, I don't know why it like zoomed in on that. Probably references or something. But this does look like they're, you know, out in space in some kind of like, you know, random like planet or something. And then these, I don't know what the turn these things are supposed to be. The little things on his backpack. I'll say I like the music though from what I've heard. Like, especially the first trailer. I for, you know what that band was called, Mr. Forevermore. I forgot what it was called. But these things, these like ghost things, these ghost creatures remind me of the Dementors. Cause you see he's like sucking the life out of him or something. Like he's getting old. Low Roar, is that the that's the band name? You saw them in concert, was it good stuff? But yeah, these like these ghost things remind me of the Dementors from Harry Potter. Except I guess they're invisible. It was good stuff. You can send the album again. I can listen to that. I remember like a few months ago, you sent it in the chat. What the fuck? <laughs> You're like the... I still wish there was a Silent Hill game. I don't understand why Konami... You see that? A ginormous, like... It's, pro it's probably easier for you to see on the stream than it is for me with all these lights. I still want a new Silent Hill though, but... Brings me a little tear. Would've been awesome. 
I don't know how I'd feel about the first person, like if the entire thing was the first person, but it would have been awesome. Jesus. <laughs> I'm guessing maybe they like transform into these creatures or I'm guessing he just wanted to like put him out of his misery or something like he must be one of them but I don't and then that thing with the baby I don't get it <laughs> Like, each of them seem to be protecting this, like, toddler or something. Like, they all seem to have, you know, maybe it's just one child, maybe the last, like, surviving, you know, human or something? I don't know. Maybe he's doing that? I don't know if he's trying to kill himself or if they're controlling him. I think he just, you know, like, I think he knows what might happen if he survives. Look at this thing, this, like, giant, the Colossus over here. I don't know if ever anyone's seen, like, Cloverfield. I, uh, Reminds me of that. I have to watch that too. It's a, I hear it's a good horror movie. He's like, like puppets or something. What the turd? Hi, Ninja Falcon. Hello. Check -up. Hi. What have you been doing recently? We're watching um the PlayStation Experience, which happened last month, but I didn't get to watch it, so we're watching it right now. And they're showing the Death Stranding trailer again. Why is he always shirtless though? I don't <laughs> Every single trailer, I swear, he's always without a shirt. <laughs> but hi, Ninja Falco, what have you been doing? This game looks weird. <laughs> Cthulhu over there. I didn't even notice that the first time I saw it. I'm not, like I said, I'm not really a fan of, you know, Konami. There's that whale again, everything with the whale. Phil is though, he's, you know, like he, you know, he's having a heart attack here. He basically married the guy. But if, you know, like I said, if anything, if we reach a certain amount, you know, like on Patreon, I'll play all the Metal Gear Solid games. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Little baby. I'll play all the Metal Gear Solid games and then maybe, I don't know. I like the one I played. I've only finished one. The PlayStation 1 version. But I'm not really interested in, you know... Continuing with the series. You're at work right now? You like my princess outfit? <laughs> you like that? It was just a shirt. I just had a shirt flipped, you know, like, I guess sideways. And then I had a USB cable going through it, you know, one sleeve, and then out of the other sleeve, and then I just tied it so it held up. And then coconut boobs, of course. The game was bad. <laughs> the, the Disney Princess game we played on the stream like a few days ago. That game was brutal. Once there was an explosion. A bang which gave rise to life as we know it. Well, I'm glad you like <laughs> That is, I don't know, this looks cool, maybe. But, you know, I don't, I don't know what to make of this. It's probably, like I said before, it's probably similar to, you know... Oh, yeah. You know, Metal Gear or something. But I really would want, you know, a new Silent Hill. <laughs> Yeah, one of the Patreons. 
Oh, is this another trailer? Like, are we getting... Uh, one of the Patreons, Kale Sloth, wanted me to play that game. So that's why we played it. <laughs> Disney Princess, yeah. It's probably the worst game we've played on the stream so far. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Hideo Kojima. You <laughs> see, what is... Did he just... What the turtle? He has a thing? He has that thing too? Why is that guy touching his leg? That's kind of weird. What is it this <laughs> little robot thing? <laughs> oh. So, uh, that trailer is a little strange, but the strangest thing is that after you play the game for four or five hours, all of that starts to make sense. Really? <laughs> So, um, Andy, I know you and Kojima-san have uh, a long history together. How did you meet? Uh, we met under the worst of all possible circumstances. Uh, it was E3, I was responsible for running the show, and I was hosting an event, and I got a call on my cell phone. Oh, was it because he couldn't saying, come? Uh, Kojima-san's code has just been stolen by a fan from the booth. Wait, code? And you have to go tell him. What do you mean, code? <laughs> um, so, uh, went out into the night, we had tracked him down to a restaurant, and uh, we what does mean, called him outside, <laughs> and uh, on the sidewalk in LA, he told him that his precious code had been stolen, and we had no idea where it was. Uh, and I remember the looks on people's faces as... as I don't know, uh, coat or code? Like C-O-D-E. Uh, I heard code. In LA to apologize for, for what had just happened. Well, it could be code, anyway, maybe. The relationship could only go in one direction from there, which <laughs> is probably uh, so I'm pleased to say. <laughs> I uh, thought he said code. I was like, what is the, you know, <laughs> what did he mean? Wait, hi, Ninja Falco. <laughs> you, did you see that yeah, stream? We were eating together. <laughs> We were eating a terrace and for no reason, uh, for no apparent reason, and he comes out of nowhere and approaches, and then he tells the news and he starts to apologize deeply, I remember that. And uh, Kojima san's face just went white as a sheet. <laughs> I've never felt so bad in my life. I, th I think I he said code, but I don't know. Couldn't he, you know, translate for him? <laughs> Maybe. It's hard to forget that. I mean, before that, I've been with Andy meetings and whatnot, but that was the first time that I really remember, you know, closing the distance with Andy. Oh, man. So, uh, Death Stranding, uh, can you tell us a little bit about how that came together? <laughs> Mr. Furmore, he still kind of has that, you know, like the serial killer, you know. Are those bullets? Do they have like bullet necklace or something? It looks like bullets. Some strange glasses too. That is all working real time in the PlayStation 4 Pro. And also in the latter half of the trailer, you see Norman in some in, in like water, kind of swimming, going to his own body. That's playable. That's cool. Wait, is that playable here? Like in the place? So how did Death Stranding come together? <laughs> <laughs> You watch it a little bit? Please get that. So, um, <laughs> maybe the world knows. So, what are your some of your favorite memories together? I guess you didn't want to talk about the Konami thing or something? <laughs> you don't have to watch the entire, you know, like the entire um, we often go Disney the stream. It was bootleg, like, like I said, but I had fun. <laughs> Playing and it on we the... barely ever talk about work. We mainly talk about 70s, 80s TV shows, mainly American or European TV shows. 
Okay, so so Kojima has been very modest here because he will take on pop culture trivia in the U.S. and Japan, seventies, eighties, and he will kick you. <laughs> He's just an encyclopedia. Uh, I, I would also add that I think the most fun time, most recently, uh, was sort of building a different form of relationship uh, and seeing at first hand the sort of rebirth of Kojima What's on his shirt though? <laughs> uh, I don't know. So I guess that's maybe like that a has just been part of the Death uh, Stranding or something. Really Looks like it. The necklace, I think the Norman Reedus so dude was wearing when that. I became independent, in the trailer. I was fortunate enough to receive offers from the, from many different people. So I had this many offers, but I wanted to keep my freedom to create exactly what I wanted. So I wanted to work with someone that understood me. And well, I met with Andy. Also, shouldn't and you be working you know, Ninja Falco? <laughs> <laughs> Am I distracting you in your work? <laughs> oh, also fun fact, I made this cheesy, you know, looking logo here with the experience. So normally what you would do after this point is you go into executive meetings and you do a pitch of this I think it looks kind of fancy. <laughs> expected revenue, this is exactly what I'm planning and what kind of target audience I have. That's what would normally happen. <laughs> no, I remember at that point I just told him maybe two, three minutes about what I wanted to do. I just told him I didn't have any document and he just said, yeah, okay. あの、あの、ね、だいぶ付き合いも長いですし、え、信頼関係もあるので、それであの、今回のレストランとか、できたと。アンディさんがいなければ、これはなかった。<laughs> And it would be my, the first work of the of Kojima Productions in the independence, so it was very important for me. And well, it was all because of Andy. Without Andy, none of this would have been possible. None of this, what you saw, would have been created. None of the baby giving the thumbs up would have been possible. That was <laughs> baby with the thumbs up. I think maybe a, a shout out to uh, Herman and Gorilla Games for uh, Decima. Uh, is in order. What is that? Is the Decima thing he's talking about? Uh, that was really it for questions. Any final thoughts? <laughs> oh, we've, we've run. I know. It's we needed more cards. <laughs> I think throw. Hello. Throw to him. Uh, so after well, going launch uh, launch with Andy last year, I think it was in January. Oh, is that the one that he's using? Is that the same one that was made for the Horizon Zero Dawn? I what I wanted to do, but I didn't have the technology with me. I didn't have, you know, I didn't even have an office at that time. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's cool. We also thought of Mark and discussed with Mark. Mark He said that's rendered real time. That is insane. And well, one on a tour through, <laughs> on a tour through all the studios in the world with Mark, and at that point, I met with Herman, and well. That's where we uh, This is something I often mention, but at the, in that. So tour, you've played Horizon Zero Dawn. Does they suffer from slackage or no? Or is it like smooth and fancy and stuff? What were the characters at that point I had nothing. I think we had, we were four people in total at a very small rented space, rented office space, but everyone was really, really kind with us. 
でゲリラの皆さんはプレゼンテーション終わってで帰ろうとした時に一つの箱をくれたんですね。Well, uh, Gorilla made their, made their presentation showing us their engine, and when we were about to leave, they just gave us a small wooden box. You don't remember experiencing things like this? Okay. Because I'd rather have a game that runs smooth, even if it doesn't look, you know, the fanciest, than something that, you know, has a heart attack here. You know, if I wanted, you know, a game that slacks, I just play it on my computer, you know. My computer is a piece of junk. And then that's kind of how I felt with the new Zelda game, Breath of the Wild. Every now and then it, you know, has some frame rate issues and that really, you know, kind of why I haven't finished it because that's a real turn. And so hopefully Horizon Zero Dawn doesn't have that. Like if I play it one day, because that does kind of take you out of the, you know, experience. そしてアンディさんとソニーさんとつながりがあって、マークさんとつながりがあって、皆さんとつながりがあって、皆さんとつながりがあって、今ここにレストランに紹介できるっていう非常に嬉しく思います。ありがとうございます。It and that all the all those connections led to the, having this running here today. So I want to thank thank everyone for this. Thank you, gentlemen. Those chairs look really soft <laughs> and squishy. <laughs> the ones they're sitting on. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know if I'd get into, you know, Metal Gear. I don't know if that's, you know. Fun night, huh? You know, just get some old friends together, you know, just hang out, you know. Get to be holiday times. I love spending time with friends and family, you know. And uh, I, I kind of want you among among that. I mean, it, it, seriously, it's like it's like a game development super group is stacked up on here. Just what, one huge name after another. Thank you so much for, for all of you. It's not a musical act together. This would be wonderful. <laughs> it, it would be incredible. What kind of game would we make if we made a game together? That's what I want to know. We would make Death Stranding in Dreams. <laughs> Death Stranding in Dreams. And it would ship in 2018. And I still would not understand it. <laughs> How is it that I had to, that there would be a story. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> see, that would be great. That you'll understand. At the very end. I don't know if that would work. If all, you know, I don't know how many people there are all like 15 of them or something. All 15 of them work together. I don't know if that would ever, you know, even become a game. You know, like, I don't know. Because they probably have like different, you know, ideas on how to make games or whatever. That they probably won't ever, you know, come together with, you know, one idea that everyone will be satisfied with. Media molecules bringing it. And of course, That'd be cool, though. tons and tons and tons <laughs> of playable PS4 and PSVR titles. Lots of stuff to play. I mean, Far Cry 5 is at the top of my list. You're going to be able to play Firewall Zero Hour. That's oh, yeah, Far Cry. That's supposed to be coming out, too. Shadow of the Colossus series. It's the third time I've said it, I know. Absolutely gorgeous. It's going to make your eyes pop out of your head. And then don't forget, we've got Capcom Cup on Yes, Capcom Cup. Well. That's going to be a lot of fun, too. That's going to be right here. What is that? I truly think it is our biggest PlayStation experience yet, and I hope you all agree when you get out there on the show floor tomorrow. Before we wrap up, though, Sean, there's been something I've been meaning to mention to you. Way down here, all by myself on the Wait stage. Wait up there. That's right. That's right. There, there's this uh, this thing with this shirt. You know, I see it kind of... Oh, Crash Bandicoot? Is that my Crash Bandicoot? What's the deal with that? What's with him and his Can shirt? Can we get a look? So... So... We kind of, it, it's kind of tradition sort of. Well, he's class. a giant turd. Uh, Every time with the shirt, I swear. I swear. There was the infamous Crash Bandicoot t-shirt. Gutless turd? But, I remember that. But it led our friends and partners at Activision to bring out Crash Bandicoot again, which is one of the biggest, uh, one of the most successful titles uh, this year. Uh, we've done that with Crash. Um, we've done that with Wipeout, and then we have Wipeout VR coming. Big ribbon. Yep. And so this this shirt Spyro? That wouldn't be Spyro. What is that? Yeah. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, no, what is that? The turd is that. Can, can you tell us anything about this? Can you tell us? 
what, what, what is that? Anyone that knows that is? It says Sir Dan. So, I'd have to like look closer I'm to a lot of um, a, a lot of feedback about it's kind of hard to see from it's here really oh medieval nice in my, in my I haven't played that in the Tyler days but uh, I do have it when I moved to London. it's a like uh, a we would like to bring it back, it's a platforming uh, um four. Uh, we think Sir Daniel needs one more resurrection and this is the time to do it wait are they bringing back uh, medieval thank everyone for sending us suggestions we serendipitously I already I would have never known that if you just showed that shirt and then I saw the pressure coming in so I thought this was a great time to bring it out and to talk about it should we roll the video oh there's a trailer oh that's cool well I never grew up with medieval but I have played it I've never finished it though but oh this is cool this is cool like I said, I've never finished it though, but I have played it. You're a skeleton, kind of like a knight, I think. That's cool! Hallelujah! <laughs> oh, are we only getting that? It's not gonna be like an actual trailer? It's probably like the crash thing then. They were probably gonna see something in E3 or something. Medieval's coming to PS4. That's, That's awesome. cool. One more thing. That's pretty uh, cool. This shirt will also be available in the PS Store uh, for the next two days at PlayStation Experience. And That's pretty all cool. proceeds from the sale of the Sir Daniel uh, Resurrection shirt will go to Able Gamers. So, uh, please everybody, grab one of these shirts at next I swear, and, uh, if they don't so, do Spyro, so, uh, you know, next year, I'll all probably all have a heart attack. It seems they've just been, you know, resurrecting great. PlayStation yeah, 1 games. For all of and that's awesome. Up I want Tomba. Tomba and Spyro. Party. Bring Tomba and Spyro back. But we're just getting started, so stay with us. That's stay cool, great. though. That's really cool. I know people wanted that. Like, I know people have been asking for, you know, Medieval to come back. But like I said, it's like a platformer. It's like a 3D platformer. Except it's kind of like Spiral. It's like an open world 3D platformer where you're like the skeleton knight guy. Uh, I guess they said his name, Sir, like, Sir something. And I think there's two. Medieval 1 and Medieval 2 on the PlayStation 1. And then I don't know if there's been any other ones. But I know I've played it a little bit. I actually have the game. I liked it, but I got lost. <laughs> and then I don't remember what I did. Like, I think the last time I played it was maybe a few years ago. I was expecting them to bring that back though. Like I said, I hope they do that with every, you know, every maybe like, you know, maybe main uh, PlayStation 1 title or, you know, like game, I'd say. Or well, at least the good ones, maybe if, you know, there's enough fans. Like, I want Gex to come back, that's why I made those two videos. Or I guess it was supposed to be a one video, but it became two parts. You know, a listing titles that I want to come, you know, to come back. Like, Tyler Tasmanian and Tiger. I have to talk over this because it's probably copyright. You know, like Tiger, Tiger, and Tiger, Spyro, I want to come back, the trilogy. They probably are. Activision is probably doing something. Like, there's been hints and there's been, you know, sneaky, you know, little things. So I wouldn't be surprised. And if you want to know more, then just watch my video talking about it. That's cool, though. I, like, in a million years, I never would have thought, you know, they do something like that. But like I said, I don't really, you know, it's on the same level as Crash. Like, I've, I never played it in the Tyler days. Uh, I guess that's that then. There's an hour long, like this video is one more hour long. I don't know what else, you know, is left, but I think that's the main thing, I think. Is there anything I, else I missed? Can anyone, you know, does anyone know? Is there something, RP to M. So Gary. You know. We're looking for someone who's cool under pressure. Because the PlayStation Experience, wasn't it like a, a few days long event or something? So right. We'll back down from a big challenge. Does that sound like you, Gary? <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. 
Is there anything, you know, I should know? Maybe they've like revealed any any new trailer, new show, something? Oh, the new Star Wars movie, I liked it. it was, oh, there's technical difficulties. For some reason, I don't think it's my thing. I think they're having difficulties. But does anyone know, is there any, like, any, like, you know, anything else? Because I think that's it, right? Like, because I've been avoiding news and everything for the past month. So I don't know if, you know, PlayStation actually announced any new trailers. But we're not going to watch the rest. I guess that's that. I don't know, it was only an hour long. I thought it was like three or something. But in in here, you know, like Saturday, Sunday, whatever. Or I guess everyone's dead. I don't know if anyone's even watching anymore. Well, I guess that's it, ladies and turds. I'll skip around. They just advertise oh, I can't speak about the detail. Of course, I think every question deserves an answer. Even if that answer is, I can't answer it. Good answer. <laughs> I'll skip around. They always agree now. <laughs> we don't have any of those, you know, problems. Um, no, it's, it's a privilege, honestly, to be uh, back in uh, Worldwide Studios, where I began my career back in 19... So, just... so now, I think, probably the second big question, then, for PlayStation at this PSX, are you going to take any of that computing power and put it behind giving release dates to the video games? Because <laughs> I'm getting sick of 2018, and we're not even there yet. I think... Um, I'll skip around. Moving, moving target. And yeah. For this show, so we talked about what should we do here, and we thought maybe, maybe we kind of turn this into more of a a, a dialogue or, or ability to, to to meet the developers and the studio chiefs, be connected, engaged. Developers. I guess that's that then. Like uh, Steve. Oh shoot! Hi shoot. Uh, some <laughs> games are not, you know, in, you know. I've played through the game for over two or three days, but just. Amazing experience. Which one? Um, have you, how, I, I know it's not a. This we we're talking about this backstage. Uh -huh. On kind of funny games daily, we had a conversation me and Andrew about if second party exists and is Insomniac and Spider Man. That's a second. Oh, party Spider Man party. looks we awesome. The new Spider Man game. I'm Insomniac excited for that. that Spider Man Two all the way no, in the toddler days on the original Xbox. The first party. My brothers and I. That's you know. So have you seen? That's that? a game I got on my birthday. I remember. That? And that Brian game is awesome. <laughs> And this looks, you know, like it's going to be top okay, notch too, the new one. Okay, good. Yeah. Tell me about oh, this. Oh, going to be just as that. Yeah, skip around. I don't think they're yeah. showing anything else. I'm done with you. I'm good. Box and the gym. They show for, the gameplay to this. For you, Shu, yeah. why was this a game PlayStation want to get behind? Why was this a game you wanted them to make? Oh, yeah, so they, after they finished the Untwine, Always maintain that. Uh, that game looks cool too, but. When you leave, oh, you got one? You didn't even leave yet. Did you steal that? How did you get it? Ah, <laughs> uh, you went to the bathroom, came Well, that's that, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great weekend. Play cool games. Go see cool panels. Be cool to one another. That's that, ladies and gentlemen. If anything, you know, I'll watch, you know, trailers to something and maybe I'll record that. I don't know. We'll see. But. Eh. Yeah, that's that, pretty much. <laughs> the Medieval was cool. The Monster Hunter trailer, I think they've already shown it. I think most of the trailers they've shown have already been seen or something. I don't know if there's anything new aside from that Medieval announcement. Like I said, if I've played that in the toddler days, I'd, you know, be having a heart attack. But like I said, I don't think there's anything that could ever, you know, beat that Crash Bandicoot, like, reveal and stuff, pretty much. Yeah, I guess that's, that's the ending right there. I don't think there's anything that could ever beat that, you know, that Crash Bandicoot, like, reveal that they did a few years ago and stuff. That was insane. I, like, right from the, you know, moment I heard the, like, the first note of the theme song, I had a heart attack. And you can see it, like I said, you can see it. I remember it, you know, as if it was yesterday. It was with Phil and I, and they showed some kind of, like, Call of Booty game. You know, something like being remastered or something. Modern Warfare or something, I don't remember, you know, what the actual Call of Booty game was. 
And I remember they showing the audience, they were on their phones and, you know, they're kind of bored, it seemed. Because, you know, maybe, they, you know, they don't play Call of Duty or whatever. And then, five seconds later, they started the Crash theme song, you know. Din, 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 din. And then, you know, right from the first note, like I said, I jumped and I had a heart attack. I'm like, what the turd? What the turd? It's Crash Bandicoot. What the blood? And then, you know, the dude, uh, Sean Layden, came walking on the stage and you just see Crash's shadow, you know, is like this, you know, just following him. It was awesome. I, I, that's probably the, like, my greatest, like, moment, uh, you know, in, like, either, you know, E3 or, you know, PlayStation Experience or something like that, because, like I say, Crash is my childhood, and then I wish they'd do the same to Spyro. You know, Crash, I, I don't know, you know, between Crash and Spyro, I think they're both equal, if anything. Even though I've played Crash 2 and 3 in the Tyler days, and only Spyro 2 in the Tyler days. I think they're both, like, on the equal, you know, same level, you know, like, how much I like, you know, both series. But I don't know if, you know, if I saw a Spyro remaster, I'd get pumped, but I don't know if I'd ever have a heart attack, you know, like I did with the crash over here, because that was completely, you know, I wanted it, but I wasn't expecting it. Whereas now with Spyro, they're going to make it, but who knows, you know, when that's going to happen. With that said, ladies and turds, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream here. You know, I had a lovely time. I guess I didn't really miss out on much, but I wanted to watch it, you know. It's only an hour long. <laughs> Good thing I had it, you know, downloaded here as a video. So I can skip around the end. You know, they're just kind of talking and whatever. And so, yeah, that's that. If anything, I'll, you know, I can finally, like, look up if there's any more trailers or something they showed that I kind of missed out on or something. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. And we'll see you on another lovely live stream. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Also, fun fact. Fun fact. Um... I've been eyeballing eBay and I found a copy of Sonic 06 for, I think, $10 with shipping in total. And I asked the dude for, you know, an offer to go maybe like, f I think, $5 in total. We'll see if he accepts it or not, you know, for the PlayStation 3. If he does, then we'll be playing Sonic 06 sometime soon. <laughs> I want to do that before, you know, Layer Pay. He's the one who kind of wants us to play that. You know, he's a Patreon and then, you know, also the Mario Kart 8 stream. He kind of, you know, played with me and, you know, I said, you know, I'll play his game of choice before he leaves. Because he's going to, like, boot camp and stuff in February, the end of February. So I'd like to do that as soon as possible. And then, Mr. Forever Snow, if you're still listening, um, the one game you wanted, the Beyond Good and Evil, will finally play that. I won't have any costume or anything. You know, I'll just, you know be like this if anything but yeah i just had to figure out how to get the consoles hooked up with this setup here with that said thanks for watching ladies and turds i hope we see you uh soon and that's that goodbye everyone goodbye